Consider a book at rest on a table. Is there any force acting on it? Yes, that's right. Multiple forces are acting upon it. Gravity pulls it downward while the table exerts an upward normal force. But if forces are present, why does the book remain stationary? Have you ever tried pushing a heavy table forward on a rough floor? Despite your best effort, the table doesn't move if the forces opposing your push, like static friction, are equal in magnitude. Similarly, in a game of tug of war, what happens if both teams pull with equal force? The rope will remain static. But why? The answer lies with the interaction of forces. Today, let's learn about balance and unbalanced forces. Forces are vector quantities. They have magnitude and direction. When forces acting on an object cancel each other out, we consider them balance. Imagine two people pushing against a shopping cart from opposite sides with the exact same amount of force. What do you think will happen? Nothing. The cart stays in place. That's because the forces are equal in strength but opposite in direction, canceling each other out. The same thing happens in a game of tug of war when both teams pull with equal force. The rope doesn't move because the forces are balanced. But balanced forces don't just keep things still. They can also keep an object moving at a constant speed in the same direction. For example, if you're riding a bicycle at a steady pace on a smooth road, the forces acting on you like friction and air resistance are balanced with the force you apply to keep pedaling. As a result, your speed stays constant. But now, imagine you start cycling uphill. What do you think will happen? As soon as you hit the incline, gravity starts working against you in a new way. On a flat road, Gravity pulls straight down, but on an uphill slope, part of that gravitational force is pulling you backward, making it harder to move forward. At the same time, friction from the road and air resistance continue to resist your motion. If you don't increase your pedaling force, these opposing forces will overpower your motion, causing you to slow down. The steeper the hill, the stronger the effect until eventually, if you cannot generate enough force, you'll stop completely or even roll backward. Going back to the shopping cart example, we saw that when two people push with equal force from opposite sides, the cart remained still because the forces were balanced. But what happens if one person pushes harder than the other? The balance is broken, and now there's a net force acting on the cart. Since the forces are unequal, the cart accelerates in the direction of the stronger force. The greater the force difference, the faster the cart moves. In the tug of war game earlier, we saw that when both teams pulled with equal strength, the rope did not move because the forces were balanced. But what happens when one team pulls harder than the other? The balance is disrupted and the rope accelerates toward the team exerting the greater force. These are examples of unbalanced forces at work. Whenever forces are unequal, they create a change in motion. This change could mean making something move, stopping it, or altering its speed and direction. To summarize, 
Remember that balanced forces result in no change to an object's motion, whether it's at rest or moving uniformly. Unbalanced forces produce acceleration, altering speed, direction, or both. Understanding these principles unlocks how objects interact in our physical world. Observe them in action around you. Science is everywhere. And that's it for today. Stay curious and see you next time.